Hey there, learners. Hope y'all are doing well today. Uh, welcome back. Remember, the link to the handout is listed in the description below. Today, what we are talking about is graphing when given the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, so remember your M is the slope, it's your rise over run. B is the y-intercept or the starting point. I am going to work out the examples or talk about the examples that are already worked out. Okay, so step number one is always, I like to think about this is B means um, and Y equals MX plus B is where you begin. So you begin by plotting the Y intercept on the Y axis and you use your slope your rise over run to get as many points as you need to form the line. So if you think about this, y equals mx plus b, b means begin on the y-axis. So I begin on the y-axis at three and my rise is one, my run is five. So I go up one over one, two, three, four, five, and then I plot the next point. Okay. So, um, and you always want to do that first point going from left to right, just like you read a book from left to right. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and we will take a look at the next example. So um, this is reminding us that if you have a whole number, any whole number can be made into a fraction by putting a one under it. So again, with the y equals mx plus b, b in this case means to begin on the y-axis at negative one. That's listed here. And remember, three is the rise and one is the run. So you rise up one, two, three, and over one. And then you put your point and you can keep going. One, two, three, over one. Okay. All right. And then for the final example, um, is going to, it is reminding us that if you do not have plus or minus some number, that the actual B value is zero. Okay. Because if you have none, none is represented by a zero. And so what this means is uh, 2x plus or 2 over five X plus zero. That means start at zero, go up one, two, over one, two, three, four, five, and then you get your points and you can draw your line. 